Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at multiplying whole numbers in context. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so looking at question one, what I've got here is I've got a student loan balance that is 18,500. Every fortnight, I make a payment of $250. After six payments, what is my remaining student loan balance? So there's a couple of steps that we need to do for this type of question. The first thing we want to do is we want to figure out how much money we've actually uh, paid after six payments. So what we're going to do is $250 uh, every fortnight I make a payment. So I'm gonna multiply that by six because that's gonna give me six payments. So 250 multiplied by six, that's gonna give me 1,500. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do 18,500, take away 1,500. So 18,500, take away 1,500. And that's going to give me $17,000. So remaining student balance is $17,000. And once again, making sure that you write that as a statement. That's a really good idea. Looking at the question number two, I've got $4,000 in my term deposit. Every month I add $150 after four months. What is the total amount? So this is... um. You know, I mean, in the previous question, we kind of just knew that it was a loan so that we kind of needed to take the money off. Now, in this case, um, the key word that we're looking for is we've got a total amount. So we've got 4000 plus that extra money that's been added on. So we've got $150 for every month and then we're doing it for four months. So we're going to do 150 times four. So that's going to give me $600. And then I've got $4000 plus $600, which is going to give me $4,600. Looking at question three, we've got a KiwiSaver balance of 10,000 contributing 200 every month. After three months, what is the updated balance in my KiwiSaver account? So this is um, just another way of saying what's my total after three months. So I'm putting in $200 every month. So I've got 200 times three, which is equal to 600. Then I've got 10,000 plus 600. So that's gonna give me a total of $10,600 um, as the updated balance in my KiwiSaver account. Going into question number four. So question number four, we've got a rental property that earns 2,500 in monthly rent. So we've got 2,500. Every week I receive $60 in additional income. After four weeks, what is the total rental income? Uh, this question is a bit... <laughs> I'd probably looking. Um, I'd probably have written the question slightly different. I should have actually said what is the total income, rather than total rental income. Uh, but anyway, uh, so we've got sixty dollars, and we're getting it for four weeks. So sixty times four, that's going to be two hundred and forty dollars, and then we've got two thousand five hundred plus two forty, which should be two thousand seven hundred and forty dollars. So like I said before, this question is a uh, probably a it's not written perfectly. I think we should have actually had this question without the word um, rental. It should have been like, what is the total income? Right, so for question five, we purchased shares in NZ Company for 6,000. Each quarter received dividend of 150. After three quarters, what is the total dividend? Now, initially I was thinking I've actually written this question wrong, but um, yeah, I thought about this, you know, like when you are getting dividends, you're not getting that $6,000 back. I mean, your $6,000, you've actually purchased the shares already. But so really, in this question, it's very natural for you to think that you're going to go 6,000 plus uh, three times 150. Because if you look at the actual um, total dividend income, that's just 150 times three, which is $450. Now, the $450 is the total um, dividend income. But it's very easy for you to kind of go, oh, I've been doing these types of questions, so I'm just going to go 6,000 plus the 450. So just be careful with these types of questions. Just make sure you read it. Now, going back to question number four, um, <clears throat> if I said it was what's the total rental income, I think the rental income would have been just 2,500. But if I look at total income, that's going to be 2,740. That is a variety of questions that uh, you could get asked for multiplying numbers in context. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision, and as always, thank you for watching.